Today we're going to be taking a look at a Heathcote electronics board. Roll the intros. Hello and welcome back to Chelmsford Junction, I'm Peter. Today, as the title suggests, we are going to be taking a look at a different Heathcote electronics board. Now in the past, I have showed you the mass sequencer and I have showed you the Erdask 4 board. But today I've got a different one. It is an Erdask 4 board, but it is slightly different. So without further ado, we're gonna get down to the workbench and I will explain why this one is different. So here we are down at the workbench and this is the box that uh, the Heathcote electronics boards always come in. It's a nice big box and if I open it up it comes, as you can see, very well wrapped. Now what I'm going to do is quickly get it out of this wrapping and we'll actually have a look at the difference in the boards. So we just untangle these. As you can see, this is the reason why this one is different. Now there's nothing different about the board itself. It still controls a four aspect signal. All your wires would go into this side for the signal. And over here you would have the connections for your power in and power out. And also for your send and receive to and from the um, Erdask and mass sequencer boards. So the differences with this one is, like I said, as you can see, it is instead of the sensors being mounted directly on the boards, this one is on wires. Now the reason this comes in handy is in some places on your railway, you might not be able to get one of these boards right under your track. Now for the area that I'm going to be do, doing this in, um, there is a couple of support uh, braces in the way of the track and I can't get one of the normal boards underneath the railway specifically. So I could put this, screw this onto the actual uh, supports of the railway and obviously these will be drilled, the holes will be drilled for these to go through. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you under the railway and actually show you where this is actually gonna go. So now we're underneath the actual boards for the railway. As you can see, this is the area where I've got four main lines um, coming off a curve from this end and going down a straight towards that end. Now, these are my blocks for my bus wiring system. But what I've also done is I've put in a secondary bus wire uh, and this is powered by a 12 volt um, multi-voltage adapter and it's powering these blocks, this block here and this block goes down to another block to the next ERDAS4 and then up to the mass sequencer so these are an, a new bus wire for the signal game, the signals on their own um, because the ERDAS4 boards and the mass sequencer boards run on 12 volts and I use a separate power supply for that so let me just grab the board itself. Sorry about that, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically screw the boards to the, uh, this area here, around here somewhere. And the actual signal is around under here somewhere. Um, so what I should do is I'm going to quickly drill the hole for, hopefully the two little lines and then we can show you how to go about installing it. So now you can see where the gantry is. The signal there is the four aspect and as you can see now, I have now drilled the two holes for the sensors to go into. So all I have to do now is to go underneath the baseboard and start screwing the board into the right place and hopefully make sure the uh, sensors fit and hold in place. So, as you can see guys, the Erdas 4 is now put into the place where I need it. These are the wires coming from the signal that I need to do, so they are long enough to fit 
into those blocks there. Next thing I need to do is get power from this block here into the Erdask 4. So the items that I'm going to be using to wire up this Erdask 4 Heathcote electronics board is normal pair of wire strippers, pair of scissors to cut the wires to length, a flat handed screwdriver for the terminals to unscrew and screw them and the wires that I'm going to be using are black for the negative, red for the positive and blue for the send and receive. Um, so obviously I've only got to use one wire of this to go from this from the board that I'm putting in now to the board that is sitting under there for the other uh, four aspect on the signal gantry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get these wired up guys and then I'll come back to you once that part is done. So guys, as you can see, I have now put in the negative into the first port, the positive into the second. The third one is the send. Now that would go, that if you was to put a wire in there, that would then go to the next board going that way. But because I've got boards that side, it goes into the receive uh, slots. So the next stage for me to do is, if I can try and get you a bit of light up there guys, that's better is I've now got to get this set of wires, hold on two seconds, we find the right ones, uh, here. What I've got to do now is put them into the signal block and hopefully, hopefully in praying, we should be up and running. So I'm gonna get these into, these wires into this block here guys and then I'll get back to you. So now the Erdos 4 board is now complete. I'm just gonna try and move the camera guys a bit. So I'm actually using my hand to hold the camera. So if it is a bit shaky guys, I do apologize. So I'll go through the wires again. So the negative wire goes into the first port. The second port is your positive. Your third one is the uh, send. This would actually go to the next Erdos 4. And the fourth one is the receive. Now, what this one does is this will then send the signal. Once this, the train goes past this block signal here, it will send a, sec a signal to the next uh, dash four and the mass sequencer to say, look, train's just passed me. I've gone to red, expect a train kind of thing. Uh, the two wires, as you can see, are now drilled and in under the boards. And as you can see, the negative, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, negative wire for the signals is in the first one then you have your red for your red signal your first yellow for your yellow signal your green and then for your double yellow it's at the top so that is basically how you wire up the erdask 4 with the extended wires and like i said uh these wires i could have got a board in there quite easily i didn't realize how close it, how much room i did have but I prefer it to be there, so that way, the next time I get another Air Desk 4, I'm gonna get another one of these. It can go next to here, say like in this area, for this signal here. And the two signals at the back here, I'd have another one up here and up here. So that's how you put in an Air Desk 4 with extended wires. So as you can see guys, the signal is now working and it's just gone to a single yellow. There is a train going around the circuit. There's your double yellow. And back to the green. So that tells me the train's past the top end of the station. So it should be going past the depot area now, coming under the tunnel. Here it comes, 50 Western. Back to red. And that is the uh, Gage Master Pico cleaning coach on the back of the uh, Lima Mark II there, guys. Haven't used the road for a little while, so I thought while well, the train's going round, I'll put the cleaning coach on there. And as you can see, it's now gone to single yellow. Then back to double yellow. And then now the timer should be on clicking on. And then there you go. It goes back to the green. 
and just wait for the train to come around one more time. Like I say, it's a Depot, Depot Class 52 Western, uh, purchased from Hattons, uh, with DCC sound on board. It's put in a range of uh, five Lima Mark 1s or Mark 2s, and a Gage Master Pico cleaning coach. And I do apologise about my parrot that's up on top of the stairs. It can get a bit noisy at times. But you can clearly see that this signal is now operational. So there you have the new Erdask 4 with extending wires from Heathcote Electronics uh, now plugged into the system. So it's now three of my four aspect signals that I've actually got operational. Um, I won't be adding a fourth uh, four aspect to it at the moment because as you guys know, I am going to be making some massive alterations uh, to my track work over by the depot and town scene and behind me on the junction area as well. So the next time I put another Erdask 4 on will be once I've done all the track work. Because it'd be obviously another signal gantry. Signal gantry will have to be made for that area. Hope you enjoyed this little video guys. I'm sorry that I've been uh, absent for the past week and a bit. Um, my lady, my dear, my dear lady was taken into hospital with very, very uh, bad chest complaints. Luckily, it wasn't COVID-19. Um, she had an anaphylactic shock um, reaction to a dose of antibiotics that was given to her by a GP. Um, obviously, that's now gone on her records that she can't have anymore. So I do apologise for not doing any videos in the past week. Obviously, I've had a lot of other things on my mind and things to do. Hope, like I said guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button as always. If you've got any questions or comments on the Erdask 4 extended wire mass board from Heathcote Electronics, then please ask any questions or put any comments down below. I will get back to you and answer them as best I can. If I can't answer them, I will put you on to the people that will help you answer those questions. As always, a great big thumbs up and thank you to Clive and his team over at Heathcote Electronics. Um, I ordered this uh, about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, there was a little bit of a problem with payments. Uh, I had a, again, had a problem with payment, so it came a bit late, but it's now here, it's now on board the system, and you've now seen that the system is now operational. Um, I'm not going to waffle on anymore, guys. If, like I said, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them down below in the questions and comments section. If you're a subscriber, great big thumbs up. Thank you for joining me as I make this massive model railway um, take it to the next level with Scenics and Electronics. And if you're not a subscriber, you can make your mind up to hit that subscribe button on the right hand side. If you click on the bell icon as well and select all, then you will always get notified of any new videos that I do. Until the next time, guys, if you want to carry on watching videos from my channel, there should be a link coming up here and here. Until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves, protect your loved ones, but above all, happy modelling, and bye-bye from Chalmers with Junction.